So we are in Adobe Premiere Pro. First, open the Lumetri Color tab. Now we are going to increase the lipstick color. So under the Lumetri tab, click on Curves, then open Hue Saturation Curves. Now click the Hue versus Saturation Color Picker icon. Then select the lips color, and dragging up the center point. So it'll increase the lip saturation a little bit. Now scrolling down, and you can see saturation versus saturation. Again click on the color picker, then select the lips color, and dragging up the center point. And now it's perfect. Then move over to the effect controls. Under the Lumetri color, select the pen tool, and make a mask outside of the lips. Now set the mask feather around 25, then use the mask path auto tracking. So it will automatically track the lip of our full video. Now let's a quick preview. And it looks perfect. Now we are going to retouch the face, so again add a Lumetri effect on it. Then first we can make a mask outside of the face. So under the Lumetri color, select the pen tool. And make a mask on the face. Set the mask feather 25. Again use the mask path auto tracking. Wait for a few moments. So it will automatically track the face of our entire video. Now let's edit the face, under the Lumetri tab. Now I'm going to adjust the white balance a little bit. Then adjust the contrast, highlight, and shadow. Then open the curves, RGB curves, and make the curve line something like that. And the final step is to smooth the skin. So open the HSL secondary, under the key effect. Click on color picker, and select the skin color. Now enable the color gray checkbox. This will be way easier to make the selection. For the proper selection, play around with the HSL. You can watch my previous video for more details about the HSL selection. I'll add the link below. When your selection is completed, then deselect the color gray. Now click on the refine drop-down icon, add the blur a little bit. Basically, it'll add some feather to our selection. Then under the correction, we can increase the luminosity a little bit. Now reduce the sharpness, so it will smooth the face. And last increase the saturation a little bit. Now let's see a quick preview. And it's pretty much better than before. And this is our final step, duplicate the layer, then disable the Lumetri effect from the top layer. Now under the effects tab, search for Gaussian blur, apply this effect on the top layer. Then go to the effect controls, set the blurriness 15, and enable repeat edge pixels. Then under the opacity, set the blend mode normal to soft light. Then if you think, it's too much, you can decrease the opacity as well. And that's the way, you can retouch the skin. So thanks for watching guys, if you enjoy this tutorial, please give a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. And if you've any questions, please feel free to ask me on Instagram. I'll see you in the next one, have a nice day.